We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Colorado Rockies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Digging in, Trevor Story. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1 1. Skied into straightaway right, giving Chase his Bellinger. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Daniel Murphy steps in now. Lifetime history with Alex Wood. He brings a more than respectable 357 batting average. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. And we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight. Right now, 51 degrees at first pitch. The 1 2. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Count remains two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone. But he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Who took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer and the inning is over. Coming to the plate now, Justin Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1 home. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And it's a good start to the inning for the Dodgers on the leadoff double. In now, Corey Seager. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Turner leads off second with nobody out. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center in shallow. Dahl comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Next for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. Hit in the air, right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Heading out towards shallow right. Coming in is Blackman. Goes into a slide, and he's got it. Great play, and there's two gone. And next will be the Dodgers' cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Line drive to center field, and that's in there. Base hit. score as the Dodgers grab the early 1-0 lead. Throw over to the bag. To the plate now, Max Muncy. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Here's a look over to first, and he's back in standing. Runner on first with two away. Fouled off.
lined into right a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now into the box now Jock Peterson no offer on that one two balls and a strike skied into straightaway right Blackman is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Charlie Blackman, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Right side and right into the shift. He's got it. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And standing in the outfielder, David Dahl. Ready with the one and one. High in the air out to center field. Peterson has a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. In now for Colorado, Ian Desmond. He went deep in the contest last night. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Hard hit ball to second. A bare hand for one. Throw to Muncy to finish the double play. That retires the side. Next up for Los Angeles, Will Smith. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Zach McKinstry. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Now the two one pitch. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. So a runner on first with one out now. And that left-handed pitcher who bats right, Alex Wood, will hit next. Squaring to bunt, but this is a foul ball. From the belt, the pitch. At the ball. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. A bunt attempt is popped up. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now batting, Justin Turner. Second shot now. He doubled to start out the home first. In his first at bat, he hit that breaking ball for a base hit. It'll be interesting to see if he's sitting off speed again here in this A.B. Two and one the count. Two and one, here it is. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. That's in there. Base hit. McKinstry is on his way home. The tag, and he's safe as they extend their lead to two. At the plate now, Corey Seager, and it's fouled away. Here he comes again, one, two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And Desmond will make the catch, and that ends the inning. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. Seven, eight, nine, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The 2-1 home. And he fouls this one off. 
set to deal on two and two. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Striding in for the Rockies, Dom Nunez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. A ball and two strikes. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. The pitcher, Herman Marquez. Fouled away. The one two. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Hit to third. Turner's got it. Throw on to Muncie. Gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Striding forward now, Mookie Betts. He flew out in his last at-bat. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Three and one to the Dodgers' left fielder. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. In there, on the inside corner. Don't know that he liked it, but it's a full count now, three and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Blackman on the move. He's around first, heading for two. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Into the box, Cody Bellinger. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. But this is taken in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Next up is Max Muncy. One for one after a single this first time up. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Here's Jock Peterson now. Now batting, center fielder, John Peterson. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Breaking ball, that's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in, Trevor Story. He flied out, leading off the ball game. Lifted in the air out to center field. Peterson is right there, and he's got it for out number one. Standing in, Daniel Murphy. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. 1 and 2 now. Popped him up. Smith waits on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's Nolan Arenado looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now the one and one pitch. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. 
two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The 2 2 one more time. It is laid off, and the count runs full. 3 2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Into the box, Will Smith. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Now that the second base at the plate, Zach McKinstry turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. That misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Alex Wood. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding, breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Justin Turner, already two for two, will look to add on right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. He loses him on ball four. Bases are loaded here with one away. And up next, the former All-Star shortstop, Corey Seager. Now the 2 1 pitch it is swung on and missed for strike number two. Ooh that was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. Reined in. One there. Back to Murphy. Not in time, and they'll get just the one out. Here's Mookie Betts. He's one for two in this one. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Dahl. And that's the third out. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He'll start off the fifth in this one. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. No walk so far. Here's the 3 2. Skied into straightaway right. Bellinger's under it. One down. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, David Dahl. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Line to the right side. And there's the first hit of the game for Colorado. Now back. So now to the plate, Ian Desmond. Slow roller down the third baseline. Scooped up. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the shoer out. So striding in, Garrett Henson. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Called strike two as he locks him up there. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. A 
runner scores from second and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a three to one ball game. The catcher, number three. Now a throw over to first. Don't want to forget about it. Two out with the man at first. To the plate now, Dom Nunez. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. The 2-2. He swung on and missed strike three. Bottom of the inning now. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. A hit and two tries for him so far. Three two pitch and that misses ball four now it's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway and that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy one for two in the ball game thus far but the runners back easily three to one our score as we play inning number five right side hit hard. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game, And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Brian Shaw comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Standing in now, Jock Peterson. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Shaw was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well. A 2 1 home. Swing, high drive, left field, and deep. And that is off the wall. One run is scored. And they won't push things here as they'll hold the second runner at third, so they're loaded now with still nobody out. Into the box now, Zach McKinstry. To two balls and two strikes now. Heading out towards shallow right. Blackman is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they'll slap the tag on him between third and home, and it's a costly double play. Two men on, two out. And that left-handed pitcher who bats right, Alex Wood, will hit next. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Swing and a miss on the cut fastball, one and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Rymel Tapia will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Colorado, number 15, Rymel Tapia. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get fouled. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. A swing and a ground ball to third. Gloved by Turner. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Trevor Story steps in now. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And 
and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Dylan Floro enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Stepping in now, Daniel Murphy in there. Now the throw. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Now back. The third base hit. At the plate, Nolan Arenado. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four, and as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 71. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Justin Turner. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The one two. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Here's Corey Seeger. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Corey Seeger. The 1 1. Liner towards second. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Now back, left fielder, Mookie. In now, Mookie Betts. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. So here's the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He's working on a one for two game so far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Blake Trinan will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 49. Seventh inning ready to roll. David Dahl to the plate now. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. The 1-1 one, one is taken for ball two. Count is two and one. Three and one to the Rockies left fielder. Set to follow here is Ian Desmond.
And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And the next to dig in will be the outfielder Ian Desmond. That's going to even up the count at two and two. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Here now the 2-2. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Now batting. Number one. Into the box, Garrett Hampson. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. The catcher, number three. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Dom Nunez will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. So now two men in scoring position. three and one pick and he misses ball four so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces number eight Josh checks his swing here but he does so in time Lays off the changeup, and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And here's a good sinker now, but it misses three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. And he will look at a cold third strike. Oh, and a big one there as the bases stay loaded, and there are two gone now. One and two. Here it is. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Smith goes to get it, go to first, and that gets him out of the jam. Jake McGee gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here at the plate, Max Muncy. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full countdown. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Fouled off. The next 3-2. Misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now back. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. A 1 1 home. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4 2 our score. And it's fouled away. Try again, one, two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Stepping in, Will Smith. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance.
fouls this one off. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Desmond is there to put it away for route number two. Digging in now, Zach McKinstry, 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. McGee comes set. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Pulled toward right center field. Blackman's after it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Pedro Baez will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Austin Barnes will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 15, Austin now the one and one pitch is strike two swinging. Fias is about as stingy as they come in terms of a bullpen arm. He's proven very difficult to hit, and it's a rarer thing still to see multiple hits against him. Yeah, Matty B, and you wonder why it's so hard to score off of this guy. He's nearly impossible to get three or four hits in an inning to score a run. He keeps his walks per nine inning is really down, and you look at his hits per nine innings pitch, it's no wonder why this guy's one of the top relievers in the game right now. Three and two, full count. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. The 2-2. This is pulled into right. Bellinger is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. In now, David Dahl. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The 3-1. Popped him up. Muncie has got it, and the side is retired. Carlos Estevez will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 54. That'll bring in Austin Barnes. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Justin Turner. So far, two for three in this one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Strike two called, and it's even at two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. The batter, number five. Two away for the Dodgers here in the eighth. And striding to the plate will be Corey Seeger. Well located changeup on that one as it catches the black for a called strike. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Again, a one two. The short hit hard. Story brings it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired.
Kenley Jansen comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Now at the plate, Ian Desmond. He'll lead it off against Jansen, who tries to close the door in this one. Looking for base runners here as they're down two, playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Number one. Weak grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Bonnie pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. McKinstry ranges back and he has it for route number two. Coming to the plate now, Dom Nunez. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Last strike now for Colorado. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Well, folks, that's what Kenley Jansen does. When he enters the game, the hopes of the other team, they usually just leave. Slams the door again right here. Four to two, the final score tonight. Los Angeles jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Alex Wood gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Herman Marquez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Kenley Jansen hammers down the save, his second. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Four runs on nine hits. One error. They left ten men on base. For the Rockies, two runs on five hits. No error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 53 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.